you guys, I've got a really easy meal that can be thrown together super fast. If you're interested in a really quick but delicious meal idea, then that's what I have for you today. It's carne asada with some rice and beans and a super quick pico de gallo. I'm going to walk you right through exactly what I did. I needed some non-copyrighted music, but I couldn't find any, so I had to make my own, and I have no idea what I So I'm one of the most important things for this type of meal is to pre-marinate your meat. And I cheated this time. I picked up this seasoning in the store the other day. This is pollo asado, and I don't usually use this stuff because it has um, MSGs and other things in there, but I noticed that this one had a little thing on the side that said no GMOs. I mean, no MSG. So I was really happy to fi find this, and then I got home and I noticed that it has sugar as the third ingredient. Oh well, I'm gonna use it anyways. Nice and simple, makes it really easy, but, and I'm gonna save the container so that I can fill it up with the mix that I will show you guys later on. If I didn't have that, what I would normally use is a quarter cup olive oil, a quarter cup orange juice, a half a teaspoon of cumin, at least three minced garlic cloves or garlic powder, whatever you have, um, some paprika, turmeric, or anato, whichever one you have in your cupboard, some salt and pepper, and some oregano. You could also just swap out the paprika or turmeric and anato for just regular chili powder if you have a favorite, but that's those things are kind of interchangeable. You can add them all if you want. It's going to give it its color. So then you could add that all to the blender, or if your spices are powdered, you can just stick them right in to your oil and citrus and put your meat in there and let it marinate. As a side dish to our meal, I am doing both rice and beans. So I'm gonna be starting out with two cups of white rice. I use any kind. What I have here is just the Good Value Brown from Walmart. I think it's a long grain rice. I'm not too picky. And I am going to make this a red rice. So the ingredients that we're gonna need is two cups of rice, a quarter cup oil, half a cup of onion, or rather half an onion diced. I'm gonna be using a half a can of tomato paste and two to three cloves of garlic, probably four, a quarter teaspoon of cumin, and one teaspoon of salt. And in addition to that, I'm gonna be using around three and a half to four cups of water. Okay, so tonight um, I'm running late with dinner. So what I'm gonna do is I, I added rice and oil in here about two cups of rice I'm gonna be using tomato paste so I do have another video if you're interested in seeing it with making it with fresh tomatoes I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some onion to brown it together I have the flame on and this is gonna brown up together I'm gonna go ahead and cut up this onion real quick so like I said I do have a video that um, I did the rice already with fresh tomatoes but this is just a really quick, I'm gonna do like a full quick dinner idea, something that we would normally eat here in our house. I'm just gonna throw it all together for you and film it. Okay, so I'm just gonna toss this all in. And get that browning. And then I also am going to have beans, but what happened, what happened with my beans is that I did some pressure canning ones and I wasn't really paying attention. My daughter was helping me and we overfilled it. So I don't know if you can really see what this jar looks like, but we have some liquid loss in the beans. Let me see if that's good for the light. The liquid loss in the beans. So they look good down here, but not right here. But um, I went ahead and took the ring off and I've been watching them. They sealed um, and they haven't molded or anything. It's been about two weeks. We go through a lot of beans. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these anyways. And I'm gonna show you what I do with them. So this is what they look like. They look really dry on top, but they're like half cooked. You can see that kind of smashed. So I figure I'll salvage them. I'm just gonna go ahead and cook them. You know what, I changed my mind. I'm just gonna try to refry them as they are because that's pretty much cooked. To my pan, I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and start heating that oil. I'm gonna give this rice a stir.
and we're gonna let this brown here. So I have this oil in here heating up and I have a couple of chicken thighs that I already put this seasoning on and I did this before we went to the park um, and I wasn't really gonna film anything today but I thought you know what hey I'll just show you what I do as a quick meal meal and I'll show you how I'm gonna salvage these beans so and I'm doing um, red rice with tomato paste so I have my chicken ready to go and I'm gonna take this tomato paste and just open it And you can use um, tomato sauce too. So here's my blender. I'm going to add it in there with a couple pieces of garlic. This one looks like it's sprouted. They say it has more nutrition when it's sprouted. I don't know. I'm going to add, I'll add three. We like garlic. You know, I'm going to go ahead and add four. Stick that into the blender and I'll probably add like half of this to there and some water. Okay, so that's about three cups of water and I'm going to put that into the blender. I'm only going to add a half of the water for now because I want it to really blend up that garlic. So this rice is not as toasted as I want it. I want it to get a little bit browner. Okay, give this a good turn over here. It's getting nice and toasted. I'm gonna get a, a spoon to get these beans into this oil here. So I'm just gonna put them in. They don't have much water. Oh, nice. I'm gonna go fry a bit. I'm going to let these fry a little bit more. I've been using them like this pretty much, um, well, all of them. This is the last jar. And I was actually going to film the video, but then the beans didn't come out very well. So I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to upload it. But that that's happened to me a couple times. And I've, I've looked it up and I've seen online too that there's a lot of people that that happens to and they wonder if they're okay to use the beans or like what you should do with them and I just went ahead and took the rim off and stored it up on the shelf the way I normally would and I kept an eye on it and then I started using them and they've been fine so probably just need a little bit longer to cook but that's let's cook a little bit longer okay so I'm gonna give this another stir And then I'm going to drop it to low and just put the lid on. Oh, that's all dirty. Okay, so that's good to go. And for the rice, the rice is getting nice and toasted. So it's a perfect time to add our sauce. So far, this is just the garlic. Um, and half of that tomato paste. Nice. So 
Smells good already. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour the rest of our water into the blender to try to clean out and get all of the rest of the garlic and tomato paste out of the blender. I'm gonna get out this thing and start heating it up. Okay, I'm gonna do a quarter cup of cumin. That's actually a quarter teaspoon, which I ended up doubling. And one teaspoon of salt. Should be about right. If you wanna add like um, corn and other things like that, you can do that. I know people add uh, other stuff like um, zucchini, carrots, whatever. So I'll just stir this up. And I'm going to wait for this to come back up to a boil. And I'm going to check my salt too. I think I ended up adding another about half a teaspoon. going to check this. You just gotta probably scrape the bottom because when you have starchy stuff like this, um, the bottom likes to burn. So with the rice, um, this is on low, this is on high. When this comes up to a boil, I'm gonna drop it down low and put the lid on it. I'm gonna check the beans for salt because there's nothing worse than undersalted beans. Undersalted. Okay, this is pretty much boiling now. I'm gonna drop this to um, drop this to low because it's boiling now. And this is on low already. I'm just gonna keep it on there for a little bit longer. Normally, under normal circumstances, these beans would be done, but since they were kind of like, um, you know, I don't know if they were really undercooked or what happened, but since they were kind of not. Um, they didn't can up normally. I'm just gonna keep them on the heat. And I'll keep, I'm gonna keep them on the heat and I'll keep stirring the bottom to make sure that they don't get sti um, stuck. So this is heating up. No, you can see that. I'm switching over here to this one. And for this, I'm just gonna put the chicken onto here. on the rice. Alright, real quick, I forgot to put the lid on the rice. So, I'm just going to scrape the bottom real quick. And then cover it back up with the lid. Just so it doesn't stick to the bottom. So I'm just scraping the bottom of the beans and they're done so I'm going to turn off the heat and keep them covered until the rest of the meal is done cooking. Okay, back over here to our chicken. So one trick that I do when I'm cooking meat, whether it's steak or chicken or pork chops, is I try to salt it or put my marinade on it. And if I'm going to be cooking it that same day, I'll keep it out at room temperature and try to get it to as close to room temperature as I can. 
before I stick it on the heat on the grill or the pan. So the trick is not to move this. Start with room temperature, medium heat, and don't move it. Okay, I'm gonna start with like a salsa. For the salsa, I'm just gonna make a quick pico de gallo. It's gonna be three Roman tomatoes, half a bunch of cilantro, three to four garlic cloves, half of an onion, the juice of one lemon, one jalapeno, and salt to taste. Okay, so I have some cilantro. I'll go ahead and put like half. I like them a little bit waterier. <laughs> there we go. Well, all over the plate there. Forgot to check this of salt. Probably really good, anyways. Mm hmm. Tastes really good. Hi, baby. What did you do that was bad? That is it, guys. That is a complete part of your nutritious meal. And if you guys like these types of videos where I show you a full, quick, complete meal, let me know. Or if you like the more complicated ones. Or if you want me to just continue to switch it up here and there, leave a like. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you're here at the end. And thank you for watching. I needed some non-copyrighted music, but I couldn't find any. So I had to make my own. And I have no idea what I'm doing.